Hello, what's going on? My jumpsters is me, Diamond again. Just had some pizza rolls and uh, diarrhea from my coffee. I'm all out. And clearly this is an old fucking mug because Nevada State College is actually called Nevada State University now. <laughs> Have I talked about this already? Oh, this is an old mug. There was college university. And yesterday was a school's 22nd birthday. Yeah. It's old. This mug is old. And they were just giving these out for free at, at one of the fairs, so whatever. All right, more Chris Chan. I'm not the most excited, but you know it's something, I guess. Fuck. Do I have to poop again? God damn it. I literally... What the hell? I literally have to shit. Fuck. <laughs> that shit was so nasty, it, was, it looks like a witch's cauldron. Anyways. <laughs> All right, let's go. Watch the intro on normal speed, just because the glitches. Dude. What made it this way? That's insane. That's crazy. What is this attraction? Oh my goodness. Dude, what it's getting really good. This is the story of Chris Chan. Oh my god. <laughs> the glitches are crazy. Is that one of Megan's fucking drawings? Those are, those are Megan's drawings, I just fucking realized that. I'm on part 76 and I only just realized that. It's insane. On January 26th, 2020, the Twitter... Already 2020 out here? Shit. Short video of the contents of an no, I fucking... ...from an unknown sender, a letter of unknown subject, with a drawing of staring eyes surrounded by sparkles. Christian observers largely surmised that it was most likely sent by Christine in retaliation for being banned by the store and also blocked by them on Twitter. Jeez. She evaded their block by following the The End Games on her Magichan Sonichu Twitter account. What a fuck. At around the same time, members of the The Place Discord group, which sought to protect Chris from malicious actors, contacted Christian-centric YouTuber Dylan Thomas over his antagonistic Christian content. Oh. One of these contactors was Maker Nightby, who admitted later on that she failed to reason with him, so as a consequence, she drew a troll's depiction of Thomas being anally penetrated by a naked Jacob Sockness while also performing fellatio on Chris. Ew, a what the crown fuck? made by the fast food franchise Burger King. Jacob wrote that he liked the picture and almost forgave Maker for all her previous antipathy against him. She quickly deleted the image once trolls posted their own trolls and depiction of oh. Maker's character, CPU Magenta Heart, naked <laughs> and bleeding out of her genitalia. City girls by Dill. <laughs> what the hell? Since, according to the caption, it was what CPU goddesses did. On January 30th, Christine had two dead lawsuits filed against her what by Portfolio hell? Recovery Associates and Jefferson Capital Systems, respectively, with both hearings set for March 18th. Kiwi Farms user, Private Real G, questioned Chris by text message why she was being sued for unpaid debt when she allegedly had a friend who donated large amounts to her, implying it was Allie Hirschberg. Christine confessed oh. that donations would still come in from time to time. Yeah, use the money wisely. Hirschberg was the donator. Also on that Sponsor. day, Chris revealed her progress at creating her character sheet for the tabletop game Dungeons and Dragons, which details the details of the player's own playable character. According to her DND sheet, her character, which was half human and half Sonichu, was 125 times faster than the average playable character, and her starting level what was. What the fuck? She did all the math? High. Furthermore, since she was part Sonichu, which was an unrecognized race in any rulebook, it was reasoned that most dungeon masters or players in a D&D game that functioned as a storyteller and referee would not allow the inclusion of Sonichus. When followers reasoned <laughs> that her character running at such unfathomable speeds would break her body, she explained that since the game took place in the Dungeons & Dragons dimension of CS89, and that Sonichus and Roastus had very strong bodies, the <laughs> character would be well accustomed to running at those speeds. Really? Christine then shared her progress at coloring in the indented numbers on the game's special 20-sided dice with a glitter gel ink pen. Soon after, either Chris or Maker Nightby, who both shared custody of the Cream Arena Twitter account, then shared Christine's recent DMD tweet with the End Games account, expressing their surprise at Chris advancing and developing her. Oh, that's fun. Game. On February 1st, Christine wrote on Twitter that she did not yet possess the game Pokemon Shield for the Nintendo Switch game console, hinting that it may be an appropriate gift for her birthday. Also on that day, oh, she wow. shared the news at the Fashion course. Square Mall in Charlottesville, Virginia, which she claimed held legendary status in her personal history, was failing financially and may soon be closed. The next day, well, YouTuber Dylan Thomas announced You're always fucking banned from it, somehow. Namely, a pink Valentine's Day themed t-shirt depicting Sonichu and Rosechu. Chris, despite her dislike of Thomas, wrote that she would like to receive the t-shirt for herself. Dylan then oh, wrote okay. in his Discord server that since he had made thousands of dollars from producing Christian content, he wanted to send the t-shirts to her as a gift. On February 3rd, she explained in length the reasoning for Sonichu's and Rosechu's weight. On February 7th, to promote the upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog live-action film, actor James Marston was interviewed by video game-focused entertainment company oh, IGN, during which he was prompted with a series of true-or-false statements regarding the Sonic franchise. One oh, wow, what the fuck? Sonichu is one of the hidden characters you can unlock in Sonic Forces. What is it, Sonichu? Sonichu. What the fuck? Oh, it's actually false. Oh, I know, I was gonna say false. <laughs> That's insane. herself watched the video and asked the game company Sega to add Sonichu, her quote unquote son, as a downloadable character for the game Sonic Forces. <laughs> what the fuck? No way that they would fucking mention Sonic Forces. Oh, that's on insane. Nintendo Switch, while playing Sonic Forces, Sonic would appear to be largely yellow in color, making him appear more like Sonichu. 
Next day, she live streamed herself on YouTube. Reading by using a negative final content. chapter of the fan fiction story SNT vs. Sonichu by one Opus Gone 789, which featured Chris, Sonichu, and YouTuber and illustrator Project SNT and her character SNT. Project SNT, or Courtney, had live streamed herself reading the first through the sixth chapter of the story ten months prior. So Chris attempted oh. to continue and complete the read through. She was seen wearing the new t shirt sold oh. by Dylan Thomas. Oh, that's cool. After receiving it as a gift. Damn! He almost knocked off the camera. He Damn! Been a she gets really angry at her pets for no fucking reason. It's kind of scary. It's kind of scary. Excuse me. Jesus Christ. That's insane. You know there's a thing called Pokemon Home, right? Sonic the Hedgehog movie, noting that she wore her new Valentine's Day theme. You can fucking do it through there, right? She said revealed like. that she thought the movie was really good. Also on that day, Jacob Sockness posted a series of tweets expressing his love for Christine, pining for her motherly embrace, all while posting photos. You'd even transfer from Pokemon from uh, Pokemon Go to Four days later, Christian followed the Pokemon games you can. Quick, posted a notice on Twitter to celebrate his goddess Christine's birthday in one week, proclaiming it a quick meeting on February no. 18th. As a means to encourage possible birthday gifts from fans, Chris suggested on Twitter things with lots of thoughts put into them, in addition to magic, uh -huh. stones, and direct donations to her PayPal account. The next day, in reply to a Twitter user asking for advice in dealing with a migraine, Chris explained that as an overworked individual, she found meditation alleviated her symptoms and has meditated so much that she allegedly involuntarily meditated nearly 24 hours. Involuntary. She added that she would get psychic headaches, but if she was drawing, playing Tetris, or whatevs, her head would feel at ease. On the 22nd, in response yeah, to I doubt that. advertising a new line of products inspired by the Hello Pony themed cartoon series Pony Life, Chris angrily rejected it, reminding the company of supposed protests which took place due to Hasbro's refusal to continue the series. Friendship is magic. Yeah, only your protest, girl. I'm just... Sparkles secret chip thick folder cards. Later on, in response to Art of Sonic dressed as a girl, Chris felt inspired in embracing alternate dimension forms of characters, and so tagged Project S&T and prompted her to redesign the female Sonic and an alternate form of Sonic's love interest, Amy Rose. Oh shit. Respond. Also on February 22nd, in response to a Twitter video of a sister's little brother expressing his distress at hearing his parents having intercourse, <laughs> to her own similar experience from his youth. I can top that, easy. In my youth, I would run to wake up my mom and dad on some mornings. My dad slept with only a t-shirt on, no shorts or briefs at all. Real. I saw his penis. It grossed me out, Damn. left me quite trauma drama. Hearing sex for some Even worse, because he, ha age, cause he had you older. Kristen helped clarify that her closing question was supposed to convey, which is worse to you at the young age. Another Twitter user wrote that she was not helping the situation after conceivably revealing too much personal information. No, really. Christine wrote back, What? I'm just telling the truth. I can see worse shit from you haters. At this point, I'd rather look back in that memory than PTSD over y'all's hate-filled content. Mm -hmm. Krakow. 
Kristen returns the next day to elaborate okay, further on the shell girl. I have more to vent about in addition Jesus to the haters' responses, Christ. and I'm likely to get more. Chris, stop assumptions and slash or more mislabels from the lot of y'all. But I have lots to tell you all. They're not assumptions. About. Mainly, we you all never wanted me to be like this. Then you should have never ever tried to dupe me into totally revealing myself right into your freaking faces. Go ahead, put up a Kimmy, cake fart, or whatever offensive dot gif you want in the comments. It only proves my point. I have <laughs> suffered over the years from that old is a torment. Of my past loneliness and feeling lost and naive, but also from the freaking stunts you hating lot blackmailed, conned, and duped me into personally video recording and even the NSFW drawings, period, and actually doing. Dara mentioned the lost second medallion and its fate. Oh, Suffice to God. say that and all of the context before it was very painful to me. Okay, but who <laughs> that clip was the first medallion. Counting idea guys. The second medallion. Thank God we don't have video footage of that. <laughs> over the time, oh, that's why he put the some, fire. Too many of you all went ahead. And try to porn star me into further shame and defamation for the. No, why that picture, girls? And hurt the post phone call footage. I mean, to be fair, Chris is the one. And the rest of you nefarious lot. And another thing. Chris is the one mentioning them, anyways. Even if they've been gone for like for fucking ever. Before I even thought of coming out as trans in fourteen. I'm going to say it now. I hated sex for years because of you lot. The only ones who were able to. You never had it. Anything positive after idea guy was long gone. Were my loves, who I am very happily married to. <laughs> I absolutely refuse to do anything NSFW in recorded actions and drawings, period. Fair I enough. ask you a lot of the past 13 years or so. Were all those nosebleeds, tissue wasting, essence losing, lulls moments truly worth it now? The loss of any sex drive and PTSD creating suffering in one individual worse than any porn star ever having to suffer for your giggles and Jack, was it worth it? Really? And with all of that and then some, I feel I have every right to speak as I will, especially in being supportive for others who have suffered, regardless of age and situation or whatever context. I have created, and I was created infinite times more. I literally am the OC of OCs. <laughs> what the fuck? The bigger battles are coming very soon. Go ahead. Man, Say, you really think highly of yourself. You should have a look at my well-kept magic and healing stone collection, and my mentally and calmness expressed as much as possible while I read the second half of SNT versus Sonichu. I meditated and drank water on the rocks. I have always been very much grounded, so everything I have experienced and seen in and from C1 You're I eating the ground at this fucking point, bro. True, as well as the things I have seen and foreseen with Magichan and everyone else. You hate her lots are going down in all of the... Are you British? Where are you saying a lot? Going on and so forth. Where are you saying a lot? my suffering worth your lulls? I will help in being a saver right, with the other right, deities right. in general populations. Is mine? Regardless, <laughs> because I still genuinely care for the good individuals that make up... Is my suffering worth the content? At this point? February 24th, Sorry. Christine wished herself a happy 38th birthday on Twitter. 38? In English, and also extended her wishes to everyone who shared their birthday with her own. Later on, Bill and Thomas released a new YouTube video discussing Chris's old concepts of commemorating his birthday with the Christian Love Day holiday. Chris preemptively dismissed the video as insulting over Twitter. Three days later, Jacob Sockness tweeted at Chris with the offer of making an egregore of her mother, Barbara, or a non-physical entity what that arises from the collective thoughts of a group of Ew. people. But it would require a realistic, life-sized sex doll built around an actual human skeleton, which would host the egregore of Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking more foreshadowing. Fuck me. I'm guessing a lot happened between 2020 and 2021. These uh, next parts. Jeez. Oh my god. I'm actually almost there. What the fuck? Sockness claimed that he I'm almost at the jail saga. I'm so fucking scared. Also on that day, a tattoo artist in Germany tattooed Sonichu onto an Australian woman's leg. Are you kidding? Shared the finished work on the image-based social media Are you fucking kidding me? Later found You're insane. By Null, the administrator of the QB Farms. On February 29th, Christine revealed that she had played her first ever game of Dungeons and Dragons with an undisclosed group of local Ooh, friends, looking fun. forward to expanding her knowledge and experience, lamenting to the, the end games for losing their chance to mentor her. Also on the last day of February, Hate that that almost looks like a Chris's military shirt. Malaysian YouTuber and friend of YouTuber Kopitz released a short trailer for his YouTube channel, which featured a short clip set in the McDonald's, wherein Chris attempts to telekinetically move an amethyst stone in her hand as Sleepy and Kopitz watch on. Moving slightly. Oh. My hand move. So you're moving your hand. The hand is barely moving. She's like tilting her hands slightly. Like, like, like. No, I just witnessed you moving your hand. The place. I wish. I fucking. Sleepy took down the video and then re-uploaded the channel trailer a few days later with Chris's portion excluded. The YouTuber later confessed to Damn. continuing with plans to make more content featuring Christine, but as of yet, nothing has materialized. <laughs> Damn, Comments himself also soon after said over Discord that he had filmed another video with Chris while visiting the zoo, but they had lost some of the audio recordings and so decided against uploading the video entirely. 
Oh. On March 6th, Sonic Rebuilt, a multi-creator project organized by YouTube channel 3GI, aiming to recreate the 1996 original video animation Sonic the Hedgehog, was published. It featured a scene illustrated by Christine early on in the video, which was animated and edited by a third party. Oh my god. <laughs> Again, you just... Whoa, that's crazy, though. During the segment, Sonic transforms into Sonic 2. Of course. Wait, Sonic just, like... <laughs> and as someone else's art panel depicting Sonic character Tails being rescued by Sonic Chu, calling him Sonic Goo, the more direct transliteration from the Japanese spelling of Sonic's name, with Chris alleging that there was a pun contained within the dialogue. Users on the QB farms quickly demonstrated how Chris possibly traced or at least heavily referenced all her illustrations from the original animation. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. On March 8, while watching part 31 of the Christian A Comprehensive History YouTube series by Gino Samuel 2.1, Christine shared a single subtitled frame from the video featuring Christian in 2010, mockingly imitating his yeah, no sexual. with Chris and Alec Benzelleri reflecting on that moment. What? This part, starting from 1630, I forgot I made this video. It was so stupid. It is genuinely hilarious. Rolling on the floor, crying emoji. I guess it was in the high energetic, loud voice I used that day to imitate the but Chris. A L O L. And Alex. Sexual. Get ready for a meme of that word. The next day, it was revealed that organizers of Sequestria Fest, a Milo Laboni themed yeah, convention, I haven't heard had about that word. Christine on their list of individuals that were banned from attending the event. Oh Around wow. March, Wait, March, what? Dub, but Christine, next day, it was revealed that organizers of Sequestria Fest, a Milo Laboni themed convention, had preemptively put Christine on their list <laughs> of individuals that were banned from attending the event. Around Fair March, enough. QB Farms user, Dove, who had previously contacted Chris's financial contributor and fan, Ali Hirschberg, received an email from him in which Ali proclaims that he would not stop giving money to Christine, regardless of how she spent it, remaining a devoted and genuine supporter who supported her beliefs of a dimensional merge. Fucking cocksucker, I swear to God. He had loved Jacob Sockness, but he had his heart broken. Ali explained that Chris would never become homeless because he would live together with her after moving to the U.S. from the U.K., seeing Christine as a friend and older sister whom he would protect. It was also at around this time that another British enabler had sent his aunt, who worked for Green County Social Services, to jump up damn, the bitch. and offer her assistance, mainly with cleaning up the house and offering them fresh food. But the Chandlers did not open the door for her. In response to the enablers seemingly increasing influence over Christine, Jacob Sockness sent to his email address shit. a photo of his shit, in addition to other bothersome mail. After struggling no. with depression and other bitch. the enabler committed suicide bitch. some months later. Provide an update to the American people on several decisive yeah, actions we're taking in our very vigilant effort to combat and ultimately defeat the Corona vir virus. The, uh... On March 13th, as the new potentially. <laughs> Dude, he's tempted to say China virus. Deadly coronavirus, officially declared as COVID 19, continues to spread around the world. U.S. President Donald Trump declared the coronavirus yeah. pandemic a national no. emergency. And in addition to restrictions already enacted, such Ooh. as the closing of the national border to foreign nationals, more preventative measures were said to take place throughout the country. On March 18th, organizers of the My Little Pony convention, Babscon, which Chris was set to attend, regretfully announced that they had to cancel the event due to the pandemic and pledged to host the next convention in April 2021. This announcement pissed off Christine. Oh, the Twitter okay. account for the official MLB convention, BronyCon, then expressed their love and support to all who were affected by the cancellation. Chris, in response, asked BronyCon okay. to host another convention in lieu of Babscon. <laughs> Soon afterwards, she posted a series of tweets reflecting on the social panic caused by the virus. Okay, get ready for another light rant from me. I am not fond of how overworked everyone is getting over this coronavirus. It's a this fucking... really pisses me off. Sigh. Now, for my Sigh. matter, I have been aware of this virus since I have foreseen this event, and then finding the confirmation of its conception. <laughs> yeah, sure, and you did nothing about China, it, supposedly. I refused to overthink the topic or the virus at all, so I remained oblivious too. Any discussion or details on the virus at all, and continued to keep my healthy habits of soap and water hand washing, always having and using hand sanitizer. I actually uh, started wearing a mask. might not mask use Axe anywhere, I don't know. I'm confirmed we don't know that. Negative of the virus myself from recent blood work with my family doctor. The bottom line is that this viral event is actually a better step in our own development and evolution, as well as a <laughs> not really to sort out the weak from the moderate to strong level, mental and soulful intervals, and nothing else. The fact that we actually have a vaccine being tested now shows that this epidemic will be over with within one week or two, and everyone will have uh... the knowledge that has been scientifically gathered of this thing. Everyone mainly is just paranoid of this, which they do not fully know or comprehend, and hardly ever thought to take. But it was not over within a week. Similar epidemic and applies it was still being tested. Smart and wise. I do not even know of the symptoms. And we didn't get the vaccine because, until like again, a year or two, so... Thought about it, I would be at suck ass. Suck ass. Shut up! It's neurotypical and <laughs> beyond what to do that and overthink it. Why? Trying to record, jeez. A lot of people can get so overworked and recklessly paranoid and stressed over such simple and obvious things to the point of individual social isolation that puts a delay to too many things. I feel pissed off seeing everyone going that far. It's simply crazy and stupid. 
The only positive out of it is the further reminder for everyone in general to simply wash their hands and keep clean habits as often as possible. Fair. The greater factor for a happy, healthy life. And for you to less likely go places. Look for yourself on life and count your individual blessings. I hate your darkness. Only sends one down. Hey, mommy. Lightning bolt. Blue heart. Love you. Oh my God. Shut up. On that day, that Christine's two deadly payment cases were continued until 2020. Two days later, Chris listed a new Twilight Sparkles secret chip thick folder card expansion deck featuring oh, the art and lore from Righteous for Quick. In which she notified her followers in order to financially help the artists that were set to sell their merchandise booths at the Babscon convention, she would sign a physical copy of every one of her Sonic comic books and every pack of expansion decks and would sell them on her online store. She stated that all the profits were to be divided amongst the affected artists, and in the meantime, shared a spreadsheet containing a list of all artists and their contact details so people could support them themselves, closing her tweet thread with kind thoughts and prayers to all artists and vendors that were struggling during the pandemic. Wishing for everyone to keep clean and wash their hands. She later wrote that as herself and other vendors were selling older sets of Twilight Sparkles secret chip thick folder cards, fans were free to play the game online, but promoted playing in person with one's friends and family as the optimal way. When a Twitter okay. user criticized her for neglecting the importance of social distancing or the newly introduced concept of keeping oneself at an extended distance away from others to prevent mm -hmm. further transmission of the virus, Point of you don't fucking social distancing. social distancing, declaring herself more old fashioned, like an LP creator, Dr. Wolf. Yeah, because you do anything but social distance. If anything, you invade people's space, that's what. And many other individuals across all Earth. <laughs> On March 22nd, yeah, old fashioned. Not only reminds her readers to wash their hands, but also drink water. She listed bottled water infused in quartz, rose quartz. Uh, no. As a I'm not drinking water, water with a water fucking rocket. Hell no. Her own water bottles. Her eighty dollar oh. glass brand water bottle had originally come with one built in amethyst stone, but Chris had added the another one and tied the two together with aluminum wire. What? On March 24th, Did she began a five dollar tier patron for comic artist Ben Saint, wishing to read oh, the more recent panels of Essence Slime and Punishment's webcomic before being notified by Saint that the comic would only be visible to those on the ten dollar tier. On the 26th, she celebrated the two year anniversary since her supposed polyamorous marriage to Magic Chan Sonichu, Chris L. Rose Chu, and Me Too, wishing for adventures and simpler times. On March 9th, Chris returns to her Magic Chan Sonichu Twitter account to write as Magic Chan, explaining that in the home dimension of C197 and all neighboring dimensions, the virus had been dealt with a few weeks prior, writing that the pandemic was needed to happen for the dimensional merge to take place. So God damn, what? Secured, and the air of chaos could be cleared. On the final day of the month, no. she posted in one of the Discord servers she was in a selection of photos of her so-called magic rocks lined up on her windowsill in order to get a week's worth of solar charging plus a single night of moonlight. Fuck. She also displayed her near-empty sack of stones hanging from the ceiling along with a black hair with occult design influenced by Jacob Sognes' occult practices. Ew. Christine's Patreon page experienced a loss of nearly 40% in earnings on the month previous, now totaling at $120 per month, contributed by 10 remaining patrons. Yeah, Meanwhile, okay. she had spent over $100 on eBay, purchasing video games and game-related merchandise. At the start of April, Christine changed her Discord profile name to Sonichu982 and changed her avatar to a Twilight Sparkles secret ship thick folder. Jesus Christ, Sonichu. I don't want to hear about on this Twilight Sparkles secret ship thing. On April 10th, after a four-day break in online activity, Chris live-streamed herself on YouTube, reacting to the first installment of the MLP-themed animated YouTube series, Red vs. Blue, created by noted brony analysts, Dr. Wolf, and other members of his TF2 analysis That's series, great. wherein the analysis what of the characters role-play as classes of the game Team Fortress 2, in a scenario inspired by the long-running web series, Red vs. Blue, based on the Halo series of games. The animated video premiered on YouTube at a set time, so Chris started her stream sometime in advance, before reacting to it as it premiered. Hey, everybody, this is Chris Jansen, you coming to you live from home? In a little bit, we will be streaming another lovely video. Good. It's, it's a reaction video to Rivers Blue so Part so 1. I uh, hope y'all are oh. excited as I am to you check this out. Oh. If you're not here. Obviously, video, I don't have video on video opportunity or options right now. You're just going to see that me. Is, yeah. And I have Rosie right here. Rosie Rosie right here sitting next to me. Rosie. Oh, I'm going to sit right here. Hey, Abby. Y'all get to see live reactions. No, I have previously seen this. I've already caught months ago, but pretty much forgot. Hey, I'm recording. Not right now, Barbara. Jesus. Uh, sorry, I don't like being interrupted. I... Since this is the beginning. This is good. I like video. Great. Yay. Oh, you're going to try to pull that card, huh? Well, you know what I can say to your little boss addict? Oh, God, I hate the way she... She... God, I hate the way she calls her mom by her first name. I don't know why. It's really creepy. It seems, feels controlling. <laughs> Also on April 
That was a lot. Gift SNT celebrated Ooh. her birthday, posting several tweets okay. about her activities. Yummy. Posting replies to each one, but failing to get a response from the artist. A few days later, a creator focused on the Nintendo game Animal Crossing New uh -huh. Horizons posted on Twitter of a new custom addition to their in-game world, a new resident modeled after Christine Weston Chandler. Though she was not involved with the making of the character at all, Chris approved of the design and concept, adding that she unfortunately did not possess a copy of the game. Yeah. Oh, what? She doesn't have your horizons? Shoot. She also listed her complete set of signed Sonic comics for three hundred dollars. Three hundred. That's the of the profits were going to the artist. Why? The cancellation of the Babscon convention. Fucking better. On April fifteenth, Sonic Chu, allegedly while in possession of Christine's body, posted about current happenings on Twitter. Sonic Chu, hey everyone. God damn it. <laughs> Only prime of the species, and I have a few things to tell you all right now. How is Sonichu himself possessing her? Christian Sonichu of this dimension 12 18, and I had swapped bodies. I thought it was only possible for Magic Chen, too, because you know he's psychic and everything. In this part, she would body of hers. Anyway, oh, maybe I'm fucking stupid. Oh, yeah, last weekend, and had a good time with some of her friends from 12 18, as well as everyone else there, including Dr. Wolf and his friends. Now, why though? I will have a ride there with her body, and we will swap back then and there. Long story short, okay. near future me enters C197 with this body. Okay. Back to that day in California. Okay. Makes the delivery. Yeah. That has not happened yet. So, things to note. That's Until nice. the matter happens and resolves to make this full circle and sense making, I'm stuck in this body and I can't be close to Mama or my own original body as that is occupied by my future self. Oh, is this where she calls herself Mama? Mama? Is She's her. Ugh. Better skin the powers and abilities. Yeah, C197. Get it. What she does on a daily through her projected soul alone. She is now literally in a position to fully and actively take and answer your prayers as the goddess that she is. Oh, Christian. Meanwhile, Oof. I will be here with Rosie, no good. Mona, and everyone else is still here at this temple, pretty much body sitting and watching slash waiting for the faded clues and cues to follow in this mess until when I'm able to come full circle with it to clear it up in this alpha timeline that will basically cover it for now. Pray to our deities, including Christian Sonichu. This is the time, people. Stay safe. I'll zap y'all later. Lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. <laughs> Three lightning bolts. The next day, the alleged Sonichu took a free online IQ test and found that he was gifted, earning a score of 135. That's just an internet test, dude. Sonichu Come on. That just proves that your IQ is IQ is not that high. Come on. IQ? What? <laughs> That's a freaking poem thing. If he ever considered making a disease. Yeah, five seven five. He complained why he began the tweet with Sonichu colon. The reported Sonichu explained that it was because he, Sonichu, not Chris Chan, was speaking, while Chris was literally and fully in Dimension C197. He also felt it necessary to remind people of the new arrangement in the case any of Chris's followers were not aware of Sonichu's possession. The following day, Sonichu explained in a lengthy tweet thread that in Dimension C197, they were affected by the same strain of COVID-19 as on 1218, but they were able to beat it due to the population consisting of powerful original characters. The cure was found contained in Blake Sonichu's body, and its potency was amplified by the addition of concentrated lightning generated by the combination of a unique runestone found in the state of Florida. Lightning strike quartz from Washington Huge. and some sugar. Run. Sugar! The cure was tested and multiplied oh, by biological honey, scientists honey. and medical doctors, and spread to everyone within a day. Well. As COVID-19 brought about a need for social distancing, mass travel restrictions, well, and closing some establishments, no, it is conceivable that Christine used the concept of a body switch oh. scenario to further engross herself in an escapist fantasy. The Omega. She managed to attend to the law awaited Bro, the intro is, or the outro is different now. Before, negative outside influences only encouraged a deeper retreat into fantasy that Chris was now less likely than ever to let go. Now it's an E minor. Dang, what the heck? <laughs> okay, let's read the comments. Like I always do for some reason. Christian actually said, speaking as an overworked individual myself. Hilarious. I'm convinced the moment Gino's documentary catches up to the modern day will be the day the dimensional merge will trigger, probably. He really puts hatred in his voice when telling his animals off. I swear to you, it's scary. Christian predicting the pandemic would last a week is truly one of the moments of all time, for sure. It's hilarious to think that Chris is uncomfortable by Jacob because Jacob acts exactly how Chris was to Megan, literally. It's sometimes easy to forget that this is currently a 41-year-old human being. I swear to God. Don't like that. My little brother's having a breakdown because he heard his parents have sex. I can top that easily. Goes into too much detail about personal information. Typical Chris Chan behavior. Gina has 469 days left on the timeline before the event happens. This is nuts. Breakneck pace. Gina officially made the amount of Chris Chan documentaries as there are Fallout games. Fallout 76. Chris claiming to have hated sex for years is the height of unintentional comedy, I swear to God. She was level 24, which was exceptionally high. It's not just high, it's impossible. Max level 20. He can't even cheat properly. <laughs> Shit. I say, I know she thinks highly of herself. I love when Gina refers to himself with the same dispatch 
passionate neutrality, he's for everything else. I mean, he kind of has to. You can't just be like, oh, this was me that made the video. I don't get how Chris didn't get more shit for his animal abuse. I see, it's really making me mad. And let's not forget that he got someone else's cat euthanized for biting him or scratching. Pretty fucked up. She got the neighbor's cat euthanized because it scratched her. What the fuck? That was someone else's cat, now it's gone. What the hell? How am I not surprised Chris is a cheater even in Dungeons and Dragons? I'm not, I'm really not surprised. Kind of makes sense. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Doesn't matter what kind of cheating. Honey, his, his, his bull dick. Well, I yeah. You don't need to eat it. Oh. No. He's not gonna eat nuts. He already eats peanuts. He doesn't eat nuts. Exactly. the French. It, the beans. Chris getting into D&D, the most group setting game that exists, and playing for, for the first time two weeks before coronavirus shuts down is po so poetic. Yeah, that makes sense. Even Jesus was like, yeah, we're knocking that shit off right now. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't mean to dislike it. Oops. Chris laughing alone in his room at incredibly unfunny dialogue in an MLP fan cartoon took years off my life. I swear to you, that was the most unfunniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> and she was laughing her ass about it. Knowing how this goes, there's something haunting about Chris using Barbara and not mom. Literally. Hearing Chris's dogs yelp when he approaches them shows exactly why they have animals, literally. And, and the way she, like, screams at them. Like, damn. Chris convincing himself that he has telekinesis when he's just tilting his hand very, but extremely noticeably, slowly, to the object falls is one of his more pathetic moments, I swear to God. Chris claiming to be turned off by sex despite being thrown in jail for what he did to his mother has to be the most tone-deaf thing ever to happen in Chris Street. The thing she did with her mother was literally a year later, so we don't know. But still. I genuinely think that the trolls getting Chris's address banned from getting pizza delivered to it has done more for his health than anything he's ever done to try and get in shape, literally. Even when the idea guys forced her to work out. Chris interacting with his pets always makes me blood boil. I literally just want to punch her. I swear to God. Really bad. Chris has this amazing ability to write six whole paragraphs to say what could have been said in one. She just likes to yap. Each new upload fills me with dread, knowing we're slowly approaching the inevitable. I'm scared. I like how Chris thinks that yelling at the camera don't send me pizzas would deter rather than inspire trolls to send him more pizzas, literally. All right, next video. Fuck. 77. What made it this way? Jesus Christ. What is infection? <laughs> scary. What just fascinated? Oh my god. This is the story of Christian. Scary. <laughs> We're getting closer to the promised day. <laughs> Oh, yeah, even I glitched there. Jesus Christ. On April 19th, 2020, QB Farms user, Vicodin, who had previously retrieved Chris's drawing that was left at the DeJarnan Sanitarium and had also treated her to a lunch, hosted a live stream on his YouTube channel, Leftover Media, with Chris at an apparent Ooh, studio yay. Page, arranging it like a variety talk show. Allegedly, after lengthy discussion with Chris herself, he intended to make it a recurring show with the goal of introducing Chris Chan to a new audience while also oh, trolling any aspiring local artists who would agree to participate in the program after responding to an online advertisement <laughs> and would not be notified of Vicodin's true fuck? intentions. On this first and only live stream, Charlottesville-based singer-songwriter Max Lazio answered Vicodin's ad and joined him and Chris. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Leftovers Tonight. Today, I've assembled some of Augusta County's most talented people to discuss their art and their career. And Chris is on the right. Starting today is musician Max Mandu, uh, who is a local talent out of Charlottesville. He's going to be playing a little ditty for us, and then we'll speak with Sonichu in the body of Christine Weston Chandler. All of this coming up shortly after uh, Fuck a, me. Uh, a song with Max Mandu. All right, Max. All right, thank you. It's our dance beer. We have dance for rain, but the river's running dry. It's our beer. Cause now every day feels more like the inside And we've exhausted all I could have sworn I remember what I thought Oh guy Wow, that was really good Thanks a lot Very much for that That was really good What did you think of that? Love it Very tuneful Thank you very much It was very tuneful That's right, that's true So, uh, Max, tell me a little bit about your career All right, for sure Yeah So I am How's this Christine in literally Toronto, everything? Virginia. I live here in Charlottesville now You can look uh, Oh, that's one, all right Oh, we have a caller Call on my one Hello, caller, can you hear me? Um, I understand that you have, uh uh, no, we actually have Sonichu in the body of Christine Weston Chandler right now. <laughs> hello, hello. Hi, um, do you have a new date for the, uh, Yeah, not an exact due date, but it's in progress and, and, and incoming. We can't take too many incoming calls. I'm just gonna merge them all. Everyone can, everyone can speak at the same time. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, there you now go. This talk show really gets crazy. It's called a group call. Like, I'm, on Twitter, I'm on the Twitter account. Yeah, put it on the Twitter so now everyone's joining. <laughs> Where is uh, Christine at this time, uh, Sonichu? Whenever yeah, Mama is in C197, in the future I version of I hate that she calls herself body. Mama. I hate it, I hate it. In the future it. version of myself. And <laughs> fucking Mama Bear from Dark Deception. Mama's coming. And then we'll take it to Babs Con on April 10th. So after college, I before I started any kind of full-time thing, Hello. Well, so I went out to the South Korea to teach English there. Hello. We'll be here at like 1.30 and then we'll go, okay? <laughs> okay. Love you, Lainey. Can we hold all calls until 
our musical guest to finish telling his story, because I'm interested in the story. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, that. Yo, yeah you can tell he plays guitar. This? You're watching Augusta's number one variety show, hosting talent from across the, the Blue Ridge uh, region. That is a long we're, we're break, bro. You put right it up someone's ass. Sonnet you. Hey, got it, you. Eh. He's gonna shout Sonnet you? Is that all you have to say? Sonnet you. I guess so. Hello, Chris. Sonnet you. What's up? Am I on? Yeah, you're on. What's going on? Uh, not a whole lot. I just wanted to give some love to guitar, bro, man. You're actually doing pretty well. Hey, thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, you're really talented. So, uh, folks, I think it's time that we hear another uh, song here from Max oh. Bandu. Um, something classic, you know what I mean? Sure. In my mind, I'm going to Carolina. Can't you see the sunshine? Can't you just feel the moonshine? Chris. Ain't it just like a friend of mine to hit me from behind? I guess I'm going to Carolina. I just want to hear Max sing. What the fuck is What about social? Oh, here, uh, uh, Christine, uh, I mean, uh, it's not you. You know, this is actually uh, something we should address is that we're not practicing social distancing right now. Yeah. <laughs> but everybody uh, should be encouraged to wash their hands. Go to the same bathroom, wash your hands, or have a bottle of hand sanitizer in. Make sure you get 99.9% off your hands of your germs. I mean, we're not, probably is a little better if you guys listen to Yeah, maybe I should scoot over. <laughs> <Maybe> <laughs> should scoot over. <laughs> I'll just play Wonderwall. Uh, I'm going to take a break myself. Wonderwall. You take a break, and I'll sit here with Max Mandu as he plays Wonderwall. He's probably Wonder fine What's your SoundCloud username? Wonder SoundCloud's just Max Mandu, N-A-X-N-A-N-D-U. Wonderwall. Wonderwall. Spike is on. Oh, my gosh. We have to... Sonnet you. Yeah. Your mic is on. You're in the bathroom. I can't let you do that. Oh. Uh, okay, here are his. Take it off. Yeah, I'll just turn it off. Yeah, just uh, go back to the high school to get that one issue ball that was part of the uh, Chaos Emerald energy that came from the Chaos Rainbow. Max, dude, get out of there, bro. Max, get out of there, run. Punch out, dude. Punch out. Get out of there, bro. Get out. Good. Get out of there. What? All right, Max. Is that well, to the extreme? Uh, I don't know. What, do you want to leave? I feel like I don't quite as fit well in what you're trying to do with the show. So. Yeah, but I like sharing the like spotlight, you know. All right, thanks, guys. Do you want to stay on? Uh, I can stay on a while longer, yeah. Do you want to stay on and we'll send Max home? No. Uh, Max, feel free to take the pizza with you. <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, I just want to say I really hope Max got paid for that appearance. He is getting paid for the appearance. He's getting paid for the appearance. <laughs> Man, I got hardcore second hand embarrassment that entire time. Wasn't that the point? <laughs> Max is a fucking legend. Love that guy. Max is a legend. Let's hear another round of applause for Max. Max is a, a freaking trooper. I thought he was going to run out of here. But he did all right. <laughs> yep, he did. He did all right. Where do you play on the ring? Oh, nice. This is my response yeah. right now, just... You know, if you want to know what my, my answer to that is, you're going to live here. <laughs> you're going to live here. <laughs> no, I don't know about that. Huh, yeah. When you wash your hands, do you take all that stuff off your hands? The first, well, when, I am wear, when I'm wearing the gloves, I, I do wash my hands with soap and water, but when I wear the gloves, when I'm out and about, I use the hand sanitizer. On the gloves? Uh, on the on the gloves and on the fingers. I mean, you did it over there. I didn't see it, but I saw it. Yeah. Put it on the on the gloves. So he sanitizes, uh, sanitizes the gloves. Yeah. So you're not really cleaning your hands. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I'd say I'd say decently well done. And we did watch his latest episode that aired recently, and I would have felt better if he had kept the, albeit censored, NSFW content off of that video. I mean, it's just to just you know he could talk, he could talk about it, but he did not need to put the explicit videos on there. Especially incredible cake parts. Oh, this is a bit anyway, so but, but for the most part, his series is good. Okay, yeah. Uh... All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your call. All right. After the stream concluded, Lycan went to the QB Farms to defend himself. Today, I'm biased. He's using Chris to get more attention what? for his channel and claimed that he intended for the show to be a so called train wreck. He added that Max okay. had actually gotten paid for his appearance. Max Mondu oh, himself man. also later responded to the show via a YouTube community post, writing that the host had purposely misled him prior to the stream and that he had no prior knowledge of Christine or the format of the program. He oh. regretted attending and not leaving sooner, but feeling more determined to continue his musical pursuits. Lycan, sometime Dang. after, deleted his YouTube channel. Oh, on what April the 24th, fuck? Sonic Jew, while allegedly possessing Christine's body, wrote on Chris's Twitter account a long account regarding Chris's feelings about my little pony focused creator, no wagging. Oh Sonic Jew, <laughs> I have thoughts and feelings to share right now, and I will expect hate commentary underneath, because we know you few out of the billions of remaining peoples in 1218. Anyway, hmm. I have been having to remember who I am more recently. As for Mamas, Chris Chance, memories flow through at times, in addition to my own. I've had to learn for myself how to differentiate which thoughts were whose. At least I know how I talk and sound, so it's not a major thing, but still annoying. With that said, I wish to mention that I have begun binging the hashtag pink blue series from hashtag no on at YouTube. So far, this has been a further eye-opener and reminder of what I've witnessed with Rosie and Roberta, as well as Mama and Christine Chan, although Christine Chan's transition was more instantaneous in comparison. On that, after the S2 balls broke apart and became our species Megastones, C-Chan, gonna shorten Christine Chan from here on. 
and her non-human form turns female, yet That's she cool. still has the male parts in her human form. Sonichu, okay. book 11, mentioned in the clip show, part 1. Okay. She did the thing from between her old cock and moving the spunk into her vag, and had to stay stuck in Sonichu form until Russell and Cynthia were born Ew. for a few weeks. I don't want to know that, that she shit. Went back to her human form, and she had to go through the similar quick process that the untamed? Alberta went through, but the estrogen was coming in quicker with C-Chan, since her alt form was now female. And with that plot hole personally filled in, anyhow, watching and listening to Jesse's process and events so far has what reminded and made me think shit. again. But also, ping to mama's thoughts, memories, and feelings from her body's transition so far. A number of comments but I felt wanted to leave in supportive response, but unable to directly. Like mama had to suffer her share of UTI moments since on the E. Estrogen. Ow. Not to mention that. Yes, mama had become more emotional, of which she welcomed most gratefully. She has felt better and happier in being able to better address her feelings and emotions that she had previously somewhat identified before the HRT. Regardless, Mama remains very much more continually content and hardly depressed at all, even more so while really? on the E. Mama will likely summarize, write out, and talk about her own experiences personally later on. But onto a more, I feel, important and crucial bunch of topics here. Mama's memories still has that one PTSD moment from at Bronicon 2018. As if it was not obvious from the tweet she had made that Saturday with the shocked DJ Bone 3 image. I know the trolls identified Jesse quick enough, not to mention okay. the witness in the vendor hall at that moment. Mama, apparently still has the issues, okay. although she has moved forward for the most part, and realized and understood from that incident on naming the celebs she had communicated with online as friends at that same July slash August 2018 time frame. Oh, what an epic shot in the foot she made then. She has learned that she needed to be more cautious when talking about others online, as well oh. as the courteous and common sense on tagging yeah, others, yeah. with a comment is not directly addressed to when commenting below said posts. But, yeah, since that Saturday at BronyCon 2018, Mama has been wanting to talk it out, simple, direct, and calm, with hashtag no wagging mm -hmm. on the reasoning for that yeah, negativity okay. at the time. After all, Mama Bro, was a of this, and regardless of that one heartbreaking moment, I also strongly think, in fact, that this is not at a crush, romantic, or love feeling, as she had lost those urges more so while on the E herself. The not to e. mention that she literally hated sex, period, for a while during that bunch of shit with hashtag idea guy in 17 slash Oh my god, Think about fuck. it, if one hated sex, even for a while, that obviously says a lot about how they feel about romance and the attraction. Also, Chris Chan huh? is literally married and has been since March yeah. 26, 2018. Not legally, right? <laughs> of that same year. So, shit, yeah, Mama was never ever going to do anything in personal approach and always will keep personal space with others unless welcomed or felt welcomed for a handshake or a simple hug. I feel that I have made that very clear here and nobody bring up at too many games of 2018. Uh. Mama learned heavily from that as well and needs not a reminder <laughs> the hedgehog. of that. Other moments that puts a PTSD hedgehog in Hedgehog defensive state well. moment. The first rule of here is that you never talk about PTSD-inducing topics. Anyway, Mama's memories are pulling up that unfortunate hashtag no wagging PTSD moment recently. I feel this would be a most appropriate and very good time for Jesse to finally sort this out with Mama. It has been more than one and a half years now. I leave it up to him to manifest his method of response as soon as possible. Please, Jesse, help to settle this matter and offer good tidings between you and Mama. Thanks. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt emojis. On April 29th, the alleged Sonichu purchased a set of artistic custom-made MLP-themed bottle caps. One observer questioned whether it was really Sonichu writing the post, since it sounded like what Chris would say. Sonichu replied, yeah. explaining that it was really him. Another Twitter user criticized him for spending money on supposed garbage instead of saving money. Because like Sonichu just, just somehow speaks Sonichu exactly like Chris does, obviously. Sonichu wrote by an artist affected by the cancellations of conventions due to this the COVID-19 pandemic, and so he was in fact wasting money on being helpful to others. The artist who made the bottle caps They're not tweet, fucking fail, motherfucker. The products were sent to a quote-unquote person with problems. I was gonna say something's wrong. Refund if Sonichu wished to return them. I, I'm exporting on one of my videos right now. Is that 99%? It's kind of stuck there. It's an illustration of Christine's mother, Barbara. Sonichu then retweeted the art and wished mothers and motherly figures a happy Mother's Day greeting. He followed Ooh, up yay. by writing of his upbringing as a Pichu in the state of Rhode Island and of the events on February what? 1st, 2003, when his Pikachu yay! parents and other Pikachus were killed and ravaged by Team Rocket grunts from the Pokemon franchise and all that shit. He then wrote of Rose Chu's youth and her adventures with her trainer Kel and the untimely death of her mother. Also oh, on that day, Chris or Sonichu attended the online convention arranged by Babscon, which served as somewhat of a replacement for the convention that had been cancelled. Chris or Sonichu thanked the organizers on Twitter for their attempt at an online convention, but would have preferred an offline convention where guests could physically meet instead of lingering behind closed monitors. On May 14th, after skeptical follower Protoman claimed that they could prove Chris didn't truly believe in the dimensional merge, one of Chris's alleged spouses, what? the Pokemon Mewtwo, Oh, Jesus Christ. Are you going to give him head? Bro. Sorry. That's, that was the an angle. Comments. He claimed that further events showing the progression of the merge were continuously happening, and that Christine's goddess powers kept growing, having overcome the weaknesses that were exploited by past trolls. On May 15th, the supposed Sonichu tweeted in frustration that no one was okay. buying her signed complete set of custom-made toilet secret chicken folder cards at $550, asking for someone to purchase it. That looks like a day, Rule 34 Chris piece. Sonichu live-streamed himself reacting to the second part of the My Little Pony-themed animated YouTube series, Red vs. Blue, created by noted brony analysts, oh, continuing God. the streaming series started by Christine a month prior. Hey everybody, this is Sonichu Live, coming from this house once again. 
And tonight we're doing a live stream of mm -hmm. Analysis Anarchy Part 2, my, my reactions to the video. Yeah, so I'll just make sure everything's set up. It's my first time using the laptop, so I don't know how to do screen on screen in this thing. But at least I'm able to uh, see the video still, and y'all should be able to hear it loud enough. She's upstairs. Barbara's upstairs, okay? She's upstairs, all right? Stop asking about Barbara. This is a reaction video for TF2, that's the Sanarchy Red vs. Blue Part 2. Say, wait a minute. You there? In the suit. In the suit? Didn't you use the work for us? Yes, he did! I have a very difficult mission in mind. And honestly, if you can get halfway through this one in one piece, I'm certain there will be nothing but this opposition. Well, thank you. Your confidence in us is overwhelming. <laughs> On May 22nd, Sonichu posted a photo of himself in Christine's body, displaying huh? grape flavored Fanta brand drink only sold in Japan, which he received via Chris's That's subscription not orange Fanta, right? Box right? Service, which would send oh, a box of assorted gross. Japanese snacks every month. It is also, <laughs> the alleged Sonichu hand wrote a six page message meant for Wang Kai, a friend and enabler of Chris's, who also played the game Dungeons and Dragons with her, and allegedly convinced Chris to give him money for groceries and game related purchases. In the letters, Sonichu wrote that Chris Chan had been increasing in her powers as a literal goddess, and like herself, Kai was also prophesized to become a god. However, he would have to control his temper, as Chris herself had trouble with her temper, which she learned to better control, best exemplified in the Chris Chan focused video series by YouTuber Gino Samuel. <laughs> he explained that Magic recognized that Kai was the most powerful out of all their allies, and explained in length how Magic had foreseen many faded events, which were signs of the dimensional merge. The next day, Sonichu shared a drawing made by maker Nightbee, depicting Christine in a style reminiscent of a Disney princess, hugging Sonichu, commenting that the picture made him and Rose Chu smile. On May 25th, Chris signed set of Twilight Sparkle's secret chipstick folder cards were bought by an unknown buyer for $550, with 70% of the profits set to be divided between artists affected by the cancellation of MLB conventions. On May 29th, Sonichu revealed that Christine had received a stimulus payment meant to help relieve any financial difficulties caused Not by the COVID-19 pandemic. Sonichu wrote that he used the money to buy an Apple iPad tablet device Ooh. and took to drawing Sonichu digitally and it was a frustrating experience. The following day, after watching part 38 of the YouTube series Christian, A Comprehensive History, <laughs> the alleged Sonichu wrote on Twitter that before watching the video, he had never known about the album Trollstar's Paradise by punk band Guanch, which uh. consisted of covers <laughs> of songs recorded by Christian. Sonichu chalked the album up as a piece of literal irony. He soon afterwards posted screenshots from the segment in part 38 covering Christian's video for John Kyle, the musician who performed at Chris's half-brother Cole Smithy's wedding, writing that he found his mother's facial expressions hilarious, calling for Chris's face to be made a meme. Mm. On June 2nd, well, Sonichu wrote a tweet thread on how his mother Christine had been trolled and bullied in the past, but reflected that she recently learned to see everyone's true intentions. He noted that YouTuber Dylan Thomas and artist Ben Saint were leeching off of her success and misfortune for their own personal gain, but had remained kind to them since those creators were part of faded events she was supposed to witness. Oh. He closed okay. by promising to publicly list Chris's worst offenders, which would include the administrator of the Kiwi Farms, Null. What, On June 12th, Sonichu went to Twitter to ask YouTuber Count Dankula, who had interviewed Christine in the past, to direct message him regarding a so-called local guardian, possibly what referencing the, the local guardian and consultant's social worker service available in the UK. It is unknown whether a conversation between the two took place. Also on that day, Sonichu livestreamed his reaction to the third part of Red vs. Blue. We're going to be watching Red vs. Blue Part 3 in just a few minutes, about 10 minutes. And fortunately, I'll be able to do a little video on video. It was not bad, but I should go like that one side of it. I'll okay. look at all these stickers, huh? That's what. And what's on the bottom? I mean, look at how like a yearbook or something. I do believe this will work for picture in picture. Again, the actual video will be playing on the laptop right here. <laughs> Why not sync up the what's shown on the iPad here? And this is your basic 32 gig iPad Pro, 7th gen. I'll eventually get a higher capacity model. You speak with Sonic here. Sonic here. I'm signing up right here. Mm -hmm. I was not coming downstairs anytime soon today, so chillax on that. Okay. Possibly responsible for these. Yeah, don't try to fuck her right now. She's upstairs. Barbara and Weston Taylor is upstairs. All right, she is alive and well. Stop asking about her. Well, damn bitch, okay. She's right here. Hi, Rosie. She's not dead. Shut up. Fine. Hey, Barb! Hey, Barb! Hey, Barb, do me a favor. Would you come downstairs for a minute, please? Hey, Barb, come here. Oh, I'm on a live video stream and people want to see you, so just come over here. Sit right here. Yeah, uncomfortable. There. Say hello to the world. Hello to the world. There's Barbara, see? She's alive and well. Get I wouldn't say well, but she's stuff. alive. Oh. Take hey. care of your money. Don't make foolish investments. Um, anything else that's not financial. Ooh. Bro, the way Chris fucking looked at her, that was weird. Chris knows that Barb is fucking talking about her. <laughs> no. Not at all. Alright. Ooh. How are you feeling? I feel great. Good. Boy, everybody's just... All right. You can go back upstairs. Thank you, Barb. You're welcome. Uncompe. There. Is everybody happy now? Do you believe me? 
scared. She's not a robot, shut up. I'm pretty sure we told you all to stay put. No, I'm pretty well, sure she's demented. I made an executive decision. I'll show you that we're more than capable of effective teamwork. Wait, I'll show you? Well, I'm showing sure your team work is going swimming. Oh, shut up, bitch. I don't think you're long enough for your comments to be valid. Hey, don't be booty the newbie. Yeah, you're not as experienced as I am. Hey, you think you're really smart? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. June 13th, Darn, upon watching something. Quiz Chan, A Comprehensive History, Part 39, Sonichu wrote in the comment section of the YouTube video, oh. clarifying a misconception about what caused Chandler's house fire of 2014, insane. and disagreeing with the mention of private emails Chris had sent to his trollsome gal pal, Kim Wilson, regarding his experience with tucking his penis into his anus. Oh, because uh, every time hey, she refers to herself as uh, mama, she's supposedly uh, all, back in 2013, possessed by Sonichu, I guess. Second, why the hell would you read that personal shit about a mama with a penis thing? Oh, my Chris Chan, why did Kim have to be such a literal troll to totally expose these things when they were shared oh, with yeah, her in the Sonic Kim Wilson, if that's even your real name at this point, Mama may forgive you. Too. Uh, but I, Sonic am truly insulted by the shit stunt you've pulled with her trust in betrayal over the years. Dang. On June 14th, Sonic tweeted a list of Twitter users who had allegedly talked badly of Chris Chan over the past decade, granting them back talkers, as he Ooh. had previously promised, intending for Chris Chan followers to negatively target the aforementioned haters. Well, that's he fucked noted up. that more lists would be published in the future. Six days later, Christine's Patreon account began supporting artist Fluffy TG, subscribing to her highest $5 per month tier. The next day, after watching the first episode of the My Little Pony series, Pony Life, the supposed Sonichu posted on Twitter a photo of Christine's face, supposed. pulling an extended frown to signify his displeasure at watching the cartoon, captioning Ooh. the photo that the show was confirmed to be deity-level awful. On July 1st, okay. Christine's former Ooh. love interest and occultist consultant, Jacob Sockness, tweeted about how much he loved hugs, hinting that he yearned for the embrace of Chris, the most heavenly goddess. The alleged Sonichu responded by telling him to stop his sex obsession. On July 7th, <laughs> after a delay allegedly caused by the so-called events and being linked to them, Sonichu posted more lengthy lists of Twitter users who were considered backtalkers against Christine. The list included animator and YouTuber Oni and G, artist and oh. animator Psychic Pebbles, and Matt Watson of the YouTube-based comedic duo Super Mega, due to their conceivably callous occasional references to Christery in their content. Oh, wow. On July 13th, after Jacob Sockness announced himself ruler of Earth and representative of the Rokot alien empire to Earth, the purported Sonichu told him to stop that kind of talk, as he had no power over Sonichu or Christine, who had been saving lives, serving blessings, and doing her best for the Earths of both dimensions. Sonichu added that none of people's deaths or other events that Sockness claims to have influenced were his doing, and that there were oh, instead okay. minutes to happen, telling Jacob to stop talking of himself so egotistically because the dimensional merge was happening. Well, that's this ironic. Time, Sonichu, while in Christine's body, hand wrote several pages of magic spells that had to be followed in order to enact the dimensional merge. Photos of these notes were shared amongst members of the The Place Discord group, which sought to protect Chris from negative outside forces while also indulging her delusions of alternate dimensions and living original characters. The supposed Sonichu also shared with the Discord server new photos of Chris's room, displaying her array of newly purchased toys surrounding her bed, along with occultist rings of stone facing a black mirror. Oh, wow. On July 15th, the artist Fluffy TG sent out a tweet asking her fans to guess how old she was before eventually revealing she was in her early 30s. Sonichu responded uh -huh. to say that her mother Christine thought the artist was roughly veering on 18 to 21 years of age, entering young adulthood, and cute enough to still get away at times. Ew, Fluffy what TG the fuck? After blocked Chris's Twitter account. Good! Ew, Fluffy that's creepy! Away at times. Fluffy TG soon after blocked Chris's Twitter account. It's to say that her mother Christine thought the artist was roughly veering on 18 to 21 years of age, entering young adulthood, and cute enough to still get away at times. Fluffy TG soon after blocked Chris's Twitter account. Good, because that's fucking creepy. On July what the 16th, hell? Sonichu, using Chris's You're almost 40, Chris. Stop saying account, that. Legendary that's really historian, weird. And started a private conversation with the science administrator, Joshua Moon, or Null. Sonichu first came to tell Null about a supposed future battle between Chris Chan Sonichu and the demonic entity, Jacoba, bringing forth the detail that Sockness had been disabled of most of his magical abilities. Moon wrote back, addressing him as Chris, letting her know that Chris and the Sonichu comics brought people a lot of joy, and that if she were in trouble, he would help her, as he had shown in the past that he was very willing to do so. Yeah, exactly. Null added that he could not offer assistance or be her friend if he's she not a bad talk guy. as if she was Sonichu about interdimensional matters as if they Wait, were real. he stopped- Sonichu wrote further of his need to- Cause like, he, he stopped Christine from uh, getting manipulated by the idea guys completely. Tell as many people around the world as possible to pray to Christian Sonichu and share their quote-unquote Christos, a concept of unknown origin and significance. The alleged Sonichu added that he could agree to disagree with Null on some matters, and insisted that he was Sonichu, speaking through Christine's body. Null then apologized to Chris for not being able to help, but remained open to assist her in the future. Sonichu then reinsisted that Null tell everyone to pray to Christian Sonichu and share their Christos. Moon wrote back that he was not interested in okay. Sonichu's recent attempts in using Christine to get more attention on himself, a statement that Sonichu refuted. Null claimed that like in past trolling sagas, there was an enemy troll and a friend troll, which may or may not be played by the same person. In this case, Null theorized that there was a friend troll behind the scenes, who may be Jacob or one of Jacob's friends, who was encouraging Chris to reach out to Null with the aim of having the admin better publicize Sockness's new troll. I think I wish you saw talking about idea, Kim. Claiming probably. that he came to Null under his own volition, 
and telepathic guidance from Mewtwo, Magichan, and Christine Chandler herself. What the fuck? On July 18th, Jacob posted photos of the so-called ultimate ritual which he created, consisting partly of dripping his own blood onto Chris's custom Twilight Sparkles secret chip fake folder cards in an attempt to summon Sonichu, which was said to be apparently successful due to the appearance of a sulfuric scent in Sockness's room. Yeah, just Sonichu replied using Christine's Twitter account, okay, writing that just, Jacob just your shit blood onto the cards did not make him a blood brother to either Magichan, Sonichu, or Chris Chan, and all that did was greatly offend Sonichu. Two days later, the alleged Sonichu took part in a multi-hour group voice call over the instant messaging service, Google Hangouts, with members of the The Place Discord group. Ooh, fun. You, you, like, just, 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 as, like, uh, just as Josh, you know, said to you, you brought so much, you, you bring and you brought so much fucking joy to this world, and you continue to do so, that's why, one of the reasons why, you know, we, you, you need to remain safe. You know? You're amazing, Sonichu. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just nothing but the best for you. I see why I can't miss my speed feet, and this, uh, candle light, candle light, like I was being the same dimension as Rosie, that's the most valuable thing. Sorry, but if she's doing this, she was like, we're, we're there, like, so near, yet so far. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's really sweet. I wish, I wish more people didn't try to use, didn't, uh, wouldn't try to weaponize the rose at you against you, because they know, you know, that's, that's, yeah. I, I, I love that yeah. little couplet that you wrote, you know, as long as the bird's sweet, you shall be my heart sweet. <laughs> heart sweet, Yeah. So corny, but cute. On July 29th, the enabler, Helena G. Ferenza, posted a photo of the interior of a shopping mall with her illustration of Chris's version of Mary Lee Walsh superimposed on it, writing as if <laughs> Walsh was encountered at the mall in person. The enabler, righteous for quick, asked Christine the goddess on the veracity of her statement. Seemingly, Chris responded to state that Helena was telling the truth and that Mary Lee Walsh had crossed over to their dimension. No, the what the July, hell, man? The reported Sonichu had a private conversation with the place member. Well, leave her ass alone, bro. His dream. In it, Chris's mother, Barbara, was driving him in their car, but turned the steering wheel too suddenly, causing them to spin out of control. Oh, they shit, dude. at a diner where Sonichu used the ladies' restroom and saw some imagery of the private areas of quote-unquote young ladies also using the facilities. Some Ew, what? Uh, Sonichu, which left him neutral and disgusted. Is Sonichu, Sonichu a creep, to too? To at Fuck. least the next week, updating Nott with his dreams, one of which featured coming back to Manchester High School and telling Christian Scalpel, Tiffany Gowan, how he felt about her, which then morphed into a brief conflict with a piece of Jacob Sockness. On another night, Sonichu dreamt that he returned to the Chandler's what? residence and saw a human figure in Chris's bedroom that he recognized oh. as Magichan, who told him that even though he was being controlled by someone else's input, he should Wait, not let them get dream? him down. Sonichu and human Magichan cuddled, and then Sonichu right. woke up from that dream while still dreaming. He was approached by a different man and woke up in dream again several times before waking up in the dream next to a baby girl, which was recently birthed by Barbara. The baby told Sonichu that she liked him before waking up for real. Toward the end of July, oh, what, 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 what was that? With Sonichu over Twitter direct messaging, who managed to get Sonichu to admit that she would not try to convince anyone of the oncoming dimensional merge because everyone would experience it for themselves. Proto Man, however, continued to dismiss the merge as falsehood. Sonichu angrily defended the veracity of the merge, as it was Sonichu talking to them, allegedly literally from Dimension C197, adding that they could only know as many details of the merge at any given time as they needed to know, and that it was too complex to explain in detail. Really? What the Proto Man fuck? accused Sonichu of having the capabilities to explain, though refusing to do so. Proto Man finally asked if Sonichu could accept the possibility that the merge wasn't real and that Christine didn't truly believe it if presented with undeniable proof. Sonichu simply wrote that he wouldn't accept such a scenario and promptly blocked Proto Man from contacting him any further. Man, fucking pussy. On August 6th, Chris asked Sonichu recorded a video will so stating on Christine's behalf how her belongings were to be divided in the event of something happening to himself or Chris. It is unclear what prompted Sonichu to record this video. Sonichu shared it with Not, who out of concern soon after leaked it on the Quickie and QB Farms. Mm. Hello, this is... Hello, this is Sanchu in the body of Mama Christine Weston Chandler Sanchu. Okay, Chris Chan Sanchu. Anyway, I'm recording this as a video will. My wife Rosie Rose, she's saying this to me. For in the, for in the event anything happens to me, this. and this one body that belongs to Mama Chris Chan, anything what the happens, fuck? including a very likely just vanish from this dimension, this body and me, and this house gets left behind, and anything else that happens that transpired in this timeline before the timeline changes. I wish to hereby bequeath all my remaining possess all of the remaining possessions between mine and mamas that are in, in this household in, within the area of this temple. I relinquish all I will relinquish all that to Begin Kathleen Ringo. Oh. So simply she will, simply she'll have to be sure to come over to come to help sort things out and she and if she feels like it she can move in and help as well. But that's a whole other thing. That's a fan going click 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 the air conditioner just died out. So I have to take that as a sign. Okay. Uh, anyway, aside from that, um, but I would also like to also help out around the house who lives here in the state of Virginia. One, Kevin Fairchild. I'd like him to... Barbara, you're going to let him move in. You're going to let him move in. You're going to help you with any remaining things and artifacts within this house. And Megan, you'll have to work with him as well. He's very genuine, very kind. I believe you both will get along very well. And this... Will definitely work out because you know me. I'm mm -hmm. going into C197, our alternate dimension, 
And I'm gonna end up. Uh, yeah, can you please get out of Christine's body, body for a moment? Like and Christ. everything. I, you know me, I'm a little bit. This brain is so disorganized. So by like yeah, no I'm shit. Thinking up at times. But yeah, I want Kevin Fairchild to come and move in as well, because Barbara's gonna need as much help as possible. On the event of this house, this temple just stays behind. Wow. If the event that I just suddenly vanish without this house and leaving it and everything else behind. Mm -hmm. and in that case, also, I'll uh, be obvious. This body would not stand by because it's one and only. It's one and only. Eyes linked to this one brain. If you only knew camera. Zero, 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 zero. Uh, everybody else, the true first person perspective. So many things in my mind. So please pardon me if I seem okay. a little bit erratic. But this is my last video, will, and testament on behalf of Christine Weston Chandler Sanchu, who was born as Christopher Weston Chandler to Barbara and Robert Chandler in this dimension and this timeline. Okay. I leave y'all with that. And the attorney who will handle the case and all that and helping oh, the debt. them at all or anybody else helping them get situated with the situation and all that. So, thank you. Oh! Oh. No theme song? No monologue from Gino? Dang. I got deja vu to the Matthew call. Fuck, damn. I feel so awful for Max. Trying to get his stuff out there was embarrassed by some Eric Andre wannabe. Exactly. God, poor Max. He, he was really good. Like, like he, he was actually, like, genuinely really good and talented, and he was just, just there to be made fun of. That's so fucked up. As soon as Max realized that this is a show where we make fun of autistic people, he got the hell out of there. Well done, Max. Exactly. Also, thanks to that caller telling Max to get out of there. Yeah. Oh, my God. Chris asked me for the calls to be put on hold so Max can finish his story is unironically the nicest thing Chris has done. I know, that was nice, actually. I like it. The worst part of this is Chris singing along with Guitar Guy. That was annoying. This guy's pouring his heart and soul into this, and Chris sounds like a cat getting ran over by a full clown car. Watching the series get closer and closer to that part feels like watching the moon get closer to Ma in Majora's Mask. Oh, God. Every time Chris calls himself Mama and his actual mom, Barb, as we rapidly approach the degeneracy apex, inspires true dread in me. Caller telling Max about Chris and telling him to get the fuck out of there feels like a horror movie trope. The fact that his dementia riddle mother was sneak dissing him is hilarious. Don't waste your money, literally next to an unneeded iPad. You could argue the iPad could have been needed for his art, but even th then he wasted that chance, literally, because his art shit still somehow and two clearly she's not using it for that chris do you have any wisdom barbara take care of your money don't make foolish investments chris anything that's not financial barbara no it's way too funny for the current situation there is that moment when you're on a podcast and slowly you begin to realize the other guest is completely insane and one of the callers starts saying get out of there bro like your life is in danger like what the fuck the caller must have been thinking i've never been so concerned for a talk show guest in all my life i gotta take action the number of times sonichu refers to chris as me before correcting himself is incredible <laughs> that's funny what chris said this Jacob, stop with the sex obsessions already. Now you know how Megan fell. Yeah, you fucking twat. Oh, trust me, he still doesn't. Empathy and self awareness are in Chris's forte, literally. Two things Max is a class act. Super talented dude wasted on what is essentially a shit post. I would have lost my shit at Chris and Vakodin if that were me. And two, Barb advising the audience to not waste money and in inadvertently insulting Chris was really funny. <laughs> yeah, that was so funny. Could have sued a guitar guy for not breaking out on the rapist's head and after interrupting him again and again. Dude, he's like the nicest person there. Holy shit. My wife left me and took the kids because I watched all 77 parts of the comprehensive history of Chris Chan. I'll have to search for a sweetheart. Oh no. The Chris Chan virus is contagious. Man, that opening stream was hard to sit through. You can tell that Max is genuinely excited to share about his music and life, only to be sidelined by a delusional man baby and a ween host. From the bits he managed to get out, he seems really talented and charismatic. I hope he's doing well now. I really hope so. I like how Chris said, I put the link on my Twi on, tw on Mama's Twitter account, actively confirming the Sonic Chew position was made up. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, guys, I'm back. Beautiful now. Mm. All right, let's continue. Let's just... God. This way. I don't fucking know what mood or this way. What is I don't know what is that erection. Sound like erection. What is fascinated? What is fascinated? I don't know. This is the story of Chris Chan. <laughs> Damn. Damn, it just gets better, doesn't it? Butch? Yeah. Shut the fuck up, OneDrive. Suck my dick. Dick. Idiot. Not the D word. On August 9th, 2020, after Christian followers expressed concern over the leaked video in which Sona Chiu, while allegedly possessing Christine's body, states what arrangements are to be made regarding her possessions in the event Chris ceased to exist in the real world dimension, okay. the alleged Sona Chiu wrote a couple of reassuring tweets. Hey y'all, simple clarification if a certain new rumor, if you have not heard, do not worry or go looking into it. Simple and direct, Barb and I are safe, well, and okay. In the sequence of events, oh my God, the wall time, as a in here, moment fuck me. this timeline, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt emojis. Now, after reading all of Bro, that, are you fucking this, kidding what are you feeling me? right now? 
If you feel a good and calm sensation, you will have a lucky and blessed day today. Otherwise, if you feel weirded out, consider yeah. yourselves blessed. Your day is remaining neutral after this moment. Yeah, I guess. On August 10th, not veritable leader of the The Place Discord server, joined the recently founded official Quickie Discord server meant for general discussion of Christian, Ooh. and proceeded to leak many private photos and correspondences that Christine and later oh, Sonichu man, shared the privately new, with members of The, the Place. The new miscreants. Not soon after invited the alleged Sonichu to the Quickie server as well, who quickly joined for himself. Wait, seriously? Over on the The Place server, Sonichu asked the other members there what to say on the Quickie server, since he was told that there were people who would be willing to serve him. Upon perusing the Quickie server some further, Sonichu found photos of writings meant for Chris's friend Kai, which were sent to him privately, expressing his annoyance at seeing them leaked on Discord. Other members oh, wow. the leak came about because Kai was a dumbass. Sonichu agreed Because Kai was a dumbass. He was a good kind of dumbass who possessed powers and abilities that were allegedly personally verified. Oh, what the later, shit, dude? The reported Kai. Sonichu made a public announcement on the Quickie server, what letting everyone say? know that he was not only busy with dealings concerning the dimensional merge, but also planning to bring Christine's body into Dimension C-197 and later travel back in time to prevent the COVID-19 pandemic from ever happening. <laughs> Yeah, that's gonna be hard to do. Speak with him and treat him with sincerity and honesty, claiming he did not support neat behavior, derogatorily referring to those not in employment, education, or training. Mm. On August 14th, interesting. The from the Quickie Discord decided to remove and ban Christine's account from the server, noting that their original aim, like that of the Quickie website, was to catalog Chris's activities and to not directly interact with her or provide her with a platform to spread her beliefs. Yeah, exactly. Cloth, the founder of the official Quickie server then founded the server Wake Friends. Chiefly run by Nott, the new server was a dedicated space for Christine or Sonichu to communicate with supposed fans, where people could offer their questions, which would be privately sorted through and directly messaged to Christine's account. The server was shut down less than a month after its inception, as Nott had quick. trouble managing the increasing numbers of antagonistic, low-effort trolls and troublemakers, or well, means. That's in fucking quick. This, Chris, as Sonichu, was frequently communicating with the enabling members of the The Place Discord, in addition to some fictional characters that were being portrayed by them, one of which was Lane Chu, the chronicler, created by Chris, inspired by the anime Serial Experiments Lane, allegedly introduced to her by Nott. Lane Chu served fuck, to document man. Christine's activities in the Discord server and would occasionally disseminate information to the Quickie and Kiwi farms, as hey, well as yo. offer Chris and Sonichu words of support and guidance, mostly concerning the merge. Lane Chu was played <laughs> as possessing the bodies of several of the Place members. Initially, oh, wow. the character spoke through Nott, who then briefly passed into Klopp. In oh. August, new The Place member Anaxis was instructed to take over the role of Lane Chu, who spoke with Sonichu in public and private, as Sonichu was seeking advice about the coming dimensional merge. Anaxis was coached by Nott how to respond, eventually learning to give him pseudo-philosophical words of guidance relating Ooh. to the importance of patience and letting nature take its course, which okay. Sonichu seemed to accept. Anaxis okay. reasoned that even though he was enabling Christine to keep her comfortable and open to their input, he insisted that it was important to not offer her any new ideas and to maintain her current belief system. On August 16th, oh, okay. the purported Sonichu posted on Twitter of his efforts in replacing Chris's broken air conditioner, attaching photos of Sonichu using her neckwear slash mask around her forehead to form a quote-unquote three-quarter durag. He then posted a photo of the new what the AC unit in the window. It's a dura. On August 22nd, a Reddit user met Sonichu possessing That's Christine's a don't body do while rag. in the gas station slash mini mart sheets and posted a, a photo of the two together. Also on that day, nice. Anaxis as Lane Chu held a question and answer session with Christine as Sonichu after compiling a range of feasibly acceptable and interesting questions from several people. Mm. In regards to Chris's father, Bob, Sonichu wrote that Robert Chu was annoying for Chris, but still really? wise and intelligent, having his work greatly appreciated. Uh -huh, sure. Moon, or Null, the administrator of the Kiwi Farms, bro, Sonichu the wrote that he and Chris felt neutral towards him, acknowledging all the help he had contributed, but was displeased with Null's disbelief in things quote-unquote fictional. Oh, fuck Notably, my ass, when Lane Chu asked Sonichu if he had ever heard the song Baba O'Reilly by rock band The Who, the alleged Sonichu wrote, heard it in a movie before. Sonichu quickly Actually. edited the message to read, Mama's heard it in a movie before. On August 26th, Chris's Twitter that's account fun. blocked Jacob Saunders. Mama's heard it in a movie before. Wait, what? In a movie before. <laughs> Sonichu quickly edited to the message to read, Mama's heard it in a movie How before. does someone get it that fast? On that's August crazy. 26th, Chris's Twitter account blocked Jacob Saunders. Jacob then decreed that he could feel the light of God return to his house and the shadow of Satan descend into darkness after freeing from Chris. He what added that he would be casting major spells on her, warning those living near her should move far away. Sockness would go fuck? on to his personal subform or subreddit on the site Reddit to elaborate that he also blocked Christine because it was clear to him that she was only faking her magical powers and was unable to assist him in the dimensional merge. Jacob was certain she would not be able to reach him again over social Damn, media. Shit. On August 27th, Chris announced through her Discord account to the place that Sonichu had stopped possessing her body and was now in control of the Christine Weston Chandler from Dimension 1214. Lane Chu took the opportunity to ask some questions, such as what were the major differences between Dimensions 1214 and uh -huh. 1218. Christine, as Christine, wrote that pop star Michael Jackson had released two more albums and lived what? some years longer in the alternate dimension. Oh, after what? answering a few questions, Chris told Lane Chu that it was not a good time for a Q&A, for her brain was fatigued after a very active day. The next day, after Sonichu apparently taken back control of Chris's body, the place members held an informal chat and question and answer session over Google Hangouts. Ooh, uh, yeah. What do you want to be remembered as, and what do you think you will be remembered for? Well, she wants to be remembered as for who she is, uh, you know, with, uh, for her life so far and still ongoing. 
Uh, she's potentially living on forever, and this body's living Well, you definitely are being remembered for your life, but it's not good, is it? She would probably want to be remembered as a kind, positive person. She always has been, and has always meant to be, and uh, also, that the, also the literal goddess. Yeah, you should have been kind. Is. should have been kind to all the people closer, around you, and maybe that wouldn't happen. That. Maybe that would actually. Yeah, somebody asked, uh, you had to retire from the mayor, mayorship of CWC bill because it was too much responsibility. Are you sure you want to become a deity? It has a lot more responsibilities than being mayor. Okay, well, that firstly, that's fail on Christine Chen, Mama's uh, silk counterpart in C197, and she, and she literally fell into that. And this goes along with the past uh, dislike of the LGBT, where Christine Chen went forward in time to obviously an alternate timeline where they literally had come up with this. Uh, anti-gay serum and then she literally came back in time with that yeah Amanda Chan just knew that that was coming and wasn't going to be able to stop Christine Chan from doing that and you know she was about to essentially put it in the water system but then she got stopped by Amanda Chan and she had to resign from being mayor at that time and aside from that from okay. all the other all the other specimens of that particular substance that might have been brought back in time were just essentially neutralized and properly disposed of all of it during this time, Chris or Sonichu nominated the Chandler's house to become a Pokestop within the augmented reality game Pokemon Go, which would enable players of the game to go to her house's location and collect in-game items. The nomination was quickly rejected. A couple of days later, <laughs> wow. QB Farms users noted that Chris's quick fill shopping website was down, but neither Chris nor Sonichu addressed the matter. Okay, On then. the final day of August, QB Farms user Unrequited Dog Pilings shared scans of court documents dog concerning pilings. Christine's trespass after forbidden charge in 2018. Noting that she signed the documents with a name, Chris Chan Sonichu, written in jagged lightning as glittering. Are you fucking kidding me? On September 2nd, Chris's two debt repayment cases were finalized, ruling that Christine was to pay back to the plaintiffs a combined total of between $3,500 and $4,000. At around this Damn. time, the alleged Literally my college tuition. Knocked, <laughs> revealing that the reason Sonichu and Christine were still in Dimension 1218 and not in C-197 was because she needed to make her night fee and not to come live close to Chris's house in Rutgersville, Virginia, so they could activate certain events. <laughs> no, On September fuck 3rd, you. Nott began posting on the QB Farms private messages and screenshots from Chris and Sonichu, writing that these correspondences were with quote-unquote Watchmen, a title given to the active members of the place, inspired by the 2009 film Watchmen. Yeah, At this point, yeah. the identities and the modus operandi of the Watchmen were unknown to the general Christian following public. On September 4th, Christine's YouTube account posted a short <laughs> video starring her mother, Barbara, updating her audience of Don't her I. condition so that people would not ask Sonichu about her state in his upcoming live stream. My name is Barbara. Terrifying. Chan. I'm doing fine. What do you want to know? Ask questions in the comments below or wherever to my associates, yada yada. And. Come on, say something else. I don't know what else to do to you. Uh, I'm doing fine. That's all I can say. Thank Fair you. Fair enough. Being interested. Soon after, Sonichu livestreamed himself reacting to part four of YouTube Rony cartoon series Red vs. Blue. We're going to respond to Analysis Anarchy part four. God. It's pretty much a, lot, a bit of a wait right now, so everybody just relax. We're all good. I'll probably offer some thoughts along the way, just, you know, randomly, whatever, yada, yada, yada. And all, and all donations to the Super Chat are greatly appreciated, so thank you. Hmm. Uh, Charlotte Wagos, that's why it looks like the hair is a little wet. That's why. <sighs> You're seeing Rosie right here. Right here. Right here. She's right here sitting next to me. And yeah. you see me, like, you know, taunting, taunting lines and sink. So, I mean, that's good. I mean, that is more than enough good stuff for you, even regardless of the fact that, you know, it's all true. You know that. Everybody knows it. I know it. Feel it. Everybody feels it. Speak of which, if you can see, my, if you can see the aura of this video, just, and everything else, then. You're psychic, and you're awesome. Okay. I'm doing a thing, doing a thing. Yeah, you've already seen Barb in the video that I just uploaded a few minutes ago, so you have no reason to ask about Barbara, because that's her. She's okay, she's safe, she's well, and we're not holding She's not being held hostage either, so mm -hmm. shut the hell up, you frickin' frickin' fucking haters. Damn. Okay, okay, she's safe, she's well, and we're not... Wow, close to the time than I thought. I mean, eight minutes to go. Just gonna make a comment. How y'all doing, Alice? I am reasonably excited for part four. Previous parts have been very good. So good that I am literally... Watch them again. After having foreseen and watched in third timelines, and deja vu is incoming. Are you good? This whole body, it's numb. It's been numb for months. It's been feeling numb for months. In the brain? So, I ain't hurting. No pain. It's literally an immortal body that's staying alive for a long, long time. You know, a thousand years and so on. Or beyond that, infinity. Okay. I get it. Stop with the bar meme. I mean, stop making Barbara a meme, alright? That's enough. Stop talking about Barb. I don't know how to disable live chats from 
phone or me. Is this it? Good. Shoot. Hooray. I don't have to look at him anymore. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I mean, oh my gosh, Jeff. Why am I still here in this dimension? Why am I not in Quickville yet? Ah. Ah, I like that guy from Anime Erased. I mean, if that's going to happen, just a simple revive, turn around. I'm in Quickville. Except here. I'm in C197. Here. Except here. I'm, I'm right here. Don't it's right. fine. In this room. And I'm going to say Dimension as Rosie once again. Let me give you a Even Jonathan too has breakdown shit. Psychic and deity level problems that would be explained later on. 
the alleged Sonichu then posted new photos of Chris's Sonichu medallion hanging from her necklace, visibly warping on the surface, and encrusted to impossible Oh, God. On September 30th, after Barbara received flowers from someone who claims to be her son, the movie critic, Cole Smithy, in commemoration of her upcoming birthday, Sonichu in response posted Whoa. on Christine's YouTube account a video starring Barbara, directed at Chris's half-brother, Cole. Hi, Cole. Thanks for the flowers. They're beautiful. That was very sweet of you. I, I remember all the uh, cards and letters that you mailed me when you were in college. I still have them, and I still read them. It's so nice to, to be reminded of your love and support. Jeez. Thank you very much. I love you. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Hey, Cole. Got a little message for you myself. Brother, this is actually Sonic you. Yeah, the one and only prime of the Sonic species oh, from our sister it, dimension. Girl. That's literally my destiny to you. Hey. You've been hanging out next to Iron Man, literally. You've been hanging out with Iron Man and the Avengers and some of the DC heroes and everybody. But aside from that, I gotta tell you, Cole, all the stuff you pulled against Barb over these years, and I've heard, I've heard about through Mama's memory, because I only just swapped bodies with, with Mama like, with Christine, like what, literally six months ago today, and I just have so many of my own shares of things and whatnot that I could only speak to, you, speak to you on her behalf. Got my own problems here. Our grace are already, yeah, 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 so far. Alarm himself. Ah. I don't have a script. I'm not going on a script, but Cole... I'll give you this props. At least you came soon on doing this nice thing for Barb in her later years, right before we're actually going out with the Dimension Merge, but you will literally be able to meet Iron Man. But also, just drive over to, just drive over to Jersey and literally meet Batman. So, mm -hmm. have fun knowing that, Joseph Cole Smithy. And, uh... You're the full name, bitch. Susanna. That's still a thing. And you know what? I'm just going to do what Mama did. Like, you know, hey, whoop de do for him. Because she did that. And I just don't feel like I want to do that. Hey, you got married without inviting her and Barb. So there's that. Although I will say one thing on behalf of Mama. You write about Barb on a number of things, and Mama was mistaken. Mama was mistaken, so there's that. She's learned. Mama, Barbara yelled at Mama, so there's that. Let you know about that. But the whole different kellyfish, if you feel like you want to talk about this per personally, personally, feel free to call or text at uh, pretty much the phone number that's been popularized all over the internet. All right? Anyway, all the way here in Rutgersville, Virginia, in this dimension's 1218, originating from C197. Thanks, Cole. Have a good day. On October 1st, Sonichu wished Barbara a happy 79th birthday on Chris's Twitter account. The next day, Sonichu received a set of Sonichu wire art from a DIY wire artist, thanking them publicly on Twitter. The artist in return expressed her happiness at meeting a fellow artist and creative soul and sent a virtual hug to Chris's mother. Later on, the alleged Sonichu livestreamed his reaction to the premiere of Analysis Anarchy, Red vs. Okay. Blue, Part 5. Yeah, it is a good angle anyway. If it's mm -hmm. a bit lopsided, one way or the other, my bad, I got this thing on the bike, you know. So it's and also with that said, shout out to the happy birthday to Barbara. Her birthday was yesterday. She just turned 79 years old. Dang. So toast to that. She should have quite a few more to go. And y'all get to see me eat a cupcake, so we'll be there. He proceeds to eat a cupcake on camera. <laughs> hmm. Ah, but this brain, this brain. I feel like I want to talk about something else, but this brain can be a bit, can be a bit slow at times. So it's like. I'm in the process of one thought. It's like another thought comes along. And, I don't know. And then it just draws a blank. And... Oh yeah. Well, I guess um, one thing I can talk. Another thing I can talk about is uh, yeah, dimension merge. It's still happening. It's happening. It's continuing progress. You're seeing. You're seeing everything happen, one moment at a time, literally. And I am speaking. Yeah. And the Christian and all other deities. But yeah, essentially to just be like, hey, hey, what's the dimension merge about? I mean, it's, I mean, shoot, didn't Mama go through it enough already on Twitter and Facebook and whatever about months to a year ago or something? Yada yada yada. Uh, but long story short, we OCs and FCs as original characters, official characters that y'all consider y'all been chronicling, drawing, writing about, yada yada yada. We all exist to coexist. But this to y'all through a dimensional curtain divide, curtain divide that's invisible for the most part, but you can sense it. Only select few can be as sensitive as that. But he's obviously not a living receiver because I'm very conscious and aware of it all. Because, I mean, Mama's been very conscious and aware. And then guess what? Literally over six months now, it turned six months. just two days ago on the 30th of September. Six months! I've been here for six months! I've been in this body for six months! Since Mama and I swapped last March. But yeah, essentially, okay. all right, so all of us over there, y'all over here, y'all chronicle us, and we even chronicle all of you. I feel burp coming on. Excuse me. Just had some veggies. Uh, I hate when this brain goes blank. Ooh, that came out. The medic duo of Duncan Friends. Uber of the dogs. Meatballs. Meatballs. Mm. 
possibly in response to the reactions in the stream, Sonichu posted a Twitter poll asking Christian followers whether they would be interested in reading a written Bible of sorts regarding the dimensional merge, with a large majority voting in its favor. Soon after the announcement, an unknown enabler by text message encouraged Chris to proceed to write a Bible based on her existence, laws, and prophecies to counteract the slanderous writings posted on the Quiggy and Kiwi farms. They added that the envision to the scripture would serve great importance after the dimensional merge. Okay. During this time, a college student of around 18 years of age on the autism spectrum, who would be referred to as the Sutras, was developing a well-known mm -hmm. reputation on the Quickie Discord server for her supposed infatuation with Chris after making frequent posts regarding Chris's attractiveness and sex appeal, perhaps being perceived as ironic. However, she would soon confess to friends and on online message boards that she had gotten true desirous feelings for Chris. In early October, Quickie Discord moderator Anaxis privately messaged the Sutras upon learning that she had contacted Christine's phone to at least send her a drawing she had made, in addition to possibly chatting with her as well on separate occasions. Anaxis warned her about contacting Chris since it was against the rules of the server, telling her not to do so again lest she face more serious consequences. On October 5th, a Reddit user posted a photo of Chris's body driving the family car while in the mm. Rockersville area. Oh wow. On the 8th, Sonichu, while in possession of Christine's body, drove to Pennsylvania to return a box of over 50 items that was sent by one Luke that were to be autographed by Chris. Luke in return paid her $190, mostly for her travel expenses. He would go on to resell the items on the online marketplace, Mercury, under the false pretense that the items had been owned by Chris Chan. At Luke's house, the two ended up playing the video game Super Smash Bros. Ultimate together. After leaving his home, Sonichu then drove to the last known address of Transformers-focused toy review YouTuber MGO316 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, for an unsolicited visit to offer him some gifts and to meet with a friend of his who supposedly possessed psychic senses. MGO had in fact sold the residence to a Spanish-speaking woman who wound up opening the door for Sonichu and explaining to him the situation. Also at around this time, Sonichu recounted a dream he had with the Watchman, which consisted of a large golden disc that Sonichu believed could be the key to breaking through the Iron Curtain and allowing him back into his dimension of Z-197. In the coming days, mostly with the help of the The Place member, Kyle, Sonichu drew the golden disc, divided into different sections, and inscribed with symbols taken from the Zodiac, the Japanese Samurai Moral Codes of Bushido, Pokemon, and Sonic the Hedgehog. Also during this time frame, Sonichu revealed the front cover for the unfinished comic, Sonichu Issue 17, depicting Christine dressed in her Gopnik attire, accompanied by her supposed spouses, Matichan Sonichu and Grisella Rosechu. On October 13th, Isabella Loretta Janke... Oh, God! Is this where she... It's really... ...masqueraded as an employee of subscription video Not stream... Not this crazy ...curiosity stream, offering Christine a chance to appear on an upcoming podcast episode focusing on people with autism in collaboration with Discovery Channel Thicology. Bella offered Chris a payment of $30 per 1,000 views and added God that the damn. program would typically get 20 to 30,000 views. It is unclear whether Christine responded to the email. Bella was also known to be, at the time, a member of Onion Farms, a QB Farm-style lolcow-focused website created by former Christian follower and enabler Kenneth Engelhart, where she was temporarily banned for offering to sell the private information or docs of other users of the site. On October 15th, Sonichu revealed to members of the The Place Discord server that he was handwriting a script for a supposed sermon that was to be recorded the following day by members of the organization Praetor, Caden. The leader of the Praetor group was then invited to join the place, where they discussed their future merchandising plans with Chris and Sonichu. While conversation remained amicable, the Watchmen were quietly suspicious of Praetor's true intentions, thinking it possible that Praetor would take advantage and manipulate Chris. On October 16th, the supposed Sonichu met with members of Praetor at a meeting room in Goochland Public Library, where they took a series of promotional photos that were posted on the photo-based social platform, Instagram. The private mm -hmm. accounts of most of the members were also tagged in the photos, which allowed for Christian followers to uncover their true identities. They also recorded a video sermon presented by Sonichu, standing behind a podium with a projected background. Prater, who edited the video, occasionally added overlaid annotation text throughout, which communicated a sarcastic and trollsome tone regarding their belief in Sonichu's hmm. words. The video sermon was published at a later date. Oh, Jesus. God, Okay. Everyone who has perished so far 
leaving Mama's estimates, respectively, have safely merged and awakened in their self counterparts' bodies, brains, and consciousness. The yeah. tally numbers of the individuals in C-197 who were confirmed of waking up here to be in the billions. Also, we have confirmed uh-huh. buildings and objects fully transitioning into the other dimension from the other side, such as Gotham City, C-197, has seen buildings from this right. dimension appear on the outskirts around them. The temples in Saudi Arabia crumble in C-197. Saudi Arabia? What the fuck? Them. And I can go on with Notre Dame and all of California that burn in favor of those cities from C-197 into it 1218. I thought California, it was a gender reveal that caused the burn. Rishi Ram was doing a better job in bringing out the fire swarms here. Uh, unfortunately, in combination between both... Was the person who caused the fire from a gender reveal doing a fucking dimensional merge as well? Stuck in fading in walls, floors, and so on. We're only, just over only 10 people. Just that, 10. I was also aware of Mama in 1218. I've never acted against either of them. All the freaking idea guy and his damn the whole villain of it. Powers from major pain on our earth and equestrian in C-197. This damn fucking Nazis. done in time, am I? Oh, wait, no, I'm literally almost done. Never mind. <laughs> Come on, Shelly, first. Right now, zapping it up to the extreme. Here I was, and still am, over six months now. I tell you all, sincerely, directly, and very clearly as possible, the majority of you all can hardly ever comprehend the genuine, overpower, abilities, endurance, fortitude, and overall strength and speed this one body and brain literally has. So many fish and so many deja vu moments, telepathy, telekinesis, and so on to Every power, all you can think of in this dimension, and there is some. No exaggerations. And no lies either, I tell you. And the powers of this body and this brain have become easier to utilize. It also goes off in massive aura energy. Glowing? What else glow around me? You can, y'all can see this through the video. You are psychically, spiritually awesome. This body and this brain are literally working, doing, intermentally, <laughs> honestly, in the outro too I just noticed what the hell yep <laughs> yep I saw it okay okay I don't think I'll be able to read the comments right now so uh yeah okay I'll do the outro now so anyways that's all for today my jumpsters if you like this video you better shout it that like button don't forget to subscribe if you like me in general that's all folks I'm out hey,